What I've seen from my perspective of the folks that we brought into um, all of these locations is that they're charged up to be here. They're charged up to be a part of the larger fight against COVID and what that means for our nation. And I would tell you, and I think I got this right for the group that's here, most of them were sitting at home on a Sunday, I think, or a Saturday, and the phone rang. And the phone said, hey, you need to get here. Um, we were putting this together as they were in the air on where they needed to be uh, across the two-state area. They showed up here, never met anybody. You guys put your arms around them. Well, I guess it was socially distanced. <laughs> um, and got them integrated in um, to your hospital system so that they could go to work and, and do what you needed them to do. Well, thank you so much. We thank you for your service here today. Like most of you are all folks that you brought in your soldiers, I too got the phone on a Saturday. <laughs> and, and said, let's prepare. So who you see around here are the teams. Uh, that work for the hospital that got together and made sure that we were ready to receive the soldiers. I called the chief of staff. He's the first one I'm calling. We partner together on everything we do here, and he onboarded all the physician group. I called in the nursing leadership or Murphy, Justine Murphy, and others, and they took the lead in making sure that everything was ready for everyone that was coming. Um, in addition to that, I had uh, Maribel Fernandez, who is our HRD make sure that everything is coordinated so our soldiers can eat. <laughs> so we're very happy to be able to provide this service. Yeah, in a moment, I'm gonna turn it over to our Board of Trustees Chairman, who would like to say a couple of words. So thank you everyone for the hard work and how well we've integrated with our servicemen. We're very honored. To the general and the rest of the military personnel, we have the board of directors. Uh, we are very, very grateful for all that you guys have volunteered to do. I think it kind of goes without saying, uh, our military is known for its greatness. And, you know, when we think about it every day, and, you know, what you guys have signed up for, it's nothing less than incredible. Uh, but I'd also like to give a shout out to all our employees. Uh, this COVID 19 uh, is scary. I couldn't imagine being. Uh, uh, a pregnant mom having to come to work, and uh, you know what's so little known about COVID-19 and the battles that we all face every day, and uh, the uncertainty of what the future has to do, you know, to bring. Uh, I think it speaks volumes to everyone, uh, all the staffs, brave as, as we collectively combat this. So, on behalf of board directors, uh, thank you very much, General and staff. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.